Assalamu alaikum, uh, ma'akum Aisha. We're going to be talking about Ching Triple One, Chapter Three, Part One. اليوم اللي بنغطي هو الانتروجكشن بفتو هو انتروجكشن ماس ان فوليوم فلو ريت كيميكال كومبوزيشن جاست بارت 1 هذا هو الكتاب ذس از ذا بوك ذات وير غونا بي يوزينغ اول شيء وير غونا بي ستارتينغ اوف باي اكسبلينينغ سم ديفينيشنز عندنا بروسيس اندر ذا بروسيس شنو عندنا عندنا ا كابل اوف سيريز اوف اوبريشنز او خلينا نقول um, So a series of operations علشان ان احنا to achieve a, an objective So here is an example of a simple simplified absolutely simplified process and an input and an output a box is a unit let's say or multiple even units So what is going in اللي قاعد يدش هو الانبوت او الفيد اللي قاعد يطلع عندنا the desired product اللي احنا نبي and we have the undesired product اللي احنا يعني ما ودنا انه هو يطلع بس هو يطلع لنا والbox اللي في النص مثل ما قلنا نسميه process اي شيء طالع whatever is going out is called an output A stream, anything going in, going out, is called a process stream. This is just to get familiar with the terms that we're going to be using throughout. So this is a process stream. So now, let's get familiarized with some engineering or chemical engineering terms. Um, and then re-engineering, what is this? Uh, cost cutting measures troubleshooting double de bottlenecking and turn down so reengineering is to examine and modifying of a system to a new form فاحنا نبي ان احنا نغير تشكيلة ال the process cost cutting measures is any action to less or to lower the total cost okay اي شيء عشان نحن نقلل التكلفه trouble shooting شنو هو نحن نشوف المشكله ونشوف الحل so find a problem find a solution the bottlenecking is any change in operation to increase production rates the bottlenecking اي تغيير حق السيستم عشان نحن نزيد الانتاجيه And it turned down uh, the less of production, which is our lowering of the production below the desired or the design rate. How turned down a aqal من ال اللي ما عطلنا أو اللي إحنا صممنا عليه السيستم. فهو إيش خلنا نبتدي ب 3.1 هو الماس and volume. نبتدي بشيء سهل. نبتدي بالdensity. ما هو الدنسيتي احنا نسميها رو رو واللي نحطها اي هي حق اي كومبوننت خلينا نقول اي ممكن نحن نغيرها ب او 2 اي شيء رو اي فعندنا رو اي اللي هي ماس اوف ذات سيرتن كومبوننت ديفايدد باي ذا فوليوم اوف ذات سيرتن كومبوننت اند ذس از اول اوفر ايتش اذر احنا عندنا رو او الدنسيتي is independent of pressure in في أي حالة عاد it's independent of pressure in pure solids and liquids or liquids بس في شيء that they are slightly depending يعني it's very slightly with temperature And this is really important. But how did we know that? Or how? How? So if you have a beaker with a thermometer, a mercury thermometer, okay, 
one of these beakers has okay so we have these two thermometers in two beakers one of them is cold the blue is cold and the red is a hot hot substance or a hot water so as you can see the mercury will be less in the cold and it will go up due to thermal expansion so that means that the volume changes that also means that the density also changes so now in order to actually calculate I shown in the next day on and so calculation how she the empirical equations I'll explain you know empirical man of a jidden Muhammad Kelma empirical I shown in the next calculate a volume how they become more good for when the Perry's chemical engineering handbook or engineers handbook okay at certain temperatures so empirical, what does it mean? It means that it's from experimental data. Manatishan ho, it's derived from them. Now let's go into the specific volume, which is an inverse of a density. And we have specific gravity, which is rho i, which is of the component, over a density of the reference. Normally the reference density is um, at 4 degrees for H2O and the same is for this. And a specific gravity you can check them out uh, in at the back of the book in table B1. We can do some equations or some problems later on in another video. So 3.2, we have the flow rates. So flow rates, what are they? There are three types that we have. There is the mass flow rate, m dot. There is the mole flow rate, n dot. And there is the volumetric flow rate, which is v dot. Mass is mass over time. Mole flow rate is mole over time. Volumetric flow rate is volumetric of volume over time. So it isn't depending uh, dependent on each other, mass and volume, but you can relate them by the equation of density. So you get mass flow flow rate over volumetric flow rate. Okay, and how to measure? شلون إن إحنا نحسب الفلو ريتس؟ a continuous يعني على كل دقيقة نقدر إن إحنا نقيس الفلو ريت using flow meters. Flow meters there are many types. بس اللي إحنا بنتطرق لهم اليوم or in this book is two, which is the orifice, as you can see the O, and the rotameter. Okay, the orifice is kind of an obstruction to the pipeline, as you can see from the O that I'm going to put. To obstruct the flow. In the rotameter, لا. it's a device that is put inside. في float داخل يطفح وينزل تحت. This is called a float inside of it. With the orifice, more the flow, متما زاد الفلو معناته more pressure drop. في الروتاميتر لا كل من زاد الفلو معناته الرايز أكثر. الحين let's go to the chemical composition, just part one. So what is the atomic weight? It is the mass of the element on a scale that is assigned to C12, the carbon isotope. What is molecular weight? So molecular weight is the sum of the atomic weights of a molecule. And then here we have the mole. What is mole? It is the number of particles. We have an equation for moles. So mole or number of moles equals the mass over the molecular weight. 
Obviously, a molecular weight you can get from the back of the book in B1 for the elements. Okay, now we have kilomole, pound mole, gram mole. These are all units, or mole units are the same, have the same conversion factor as the mass units. فيعني لا تخربطون في هالموضوع. نفس اللي في الماس يونت أو الماس كونفيرجن فاكتور عندنا نفسه في المول مول كونفيرجن فاكتور. Okay. Um, also we have Avogadro's number which is one gram mole equals to six point zero two times ten to the twenty three molecules. هاي سمونا Avogadro's number. This will be very useful. Okay. Now we're going to be talking a bit about mass fraction and mole fraction. You will love them eventually. The X is for mass. A is only يعني عن component, whichever component it is. So in this case, إحنا قاعدين نقول إن A. The mass is X, mole is Y. The mass fraction is the mass of A divided by the total mass of the component. Then you have the mole. Mole fraction is mole of A divided by the total mole of that thing. The sum of the mole fractions for X until Z, okay, X A until Z, if that makes sense, equals to 1. For all of the mole fractions have to equal to 1. All of the mass fractions have to equal to 1. And the mass percentage equals to x of a, let's say mass percent of a, times 100. And then you have the mole percentage of a will equal also to ya times 100. Inshallah, you like got a gist of this. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, if you have any questions, comment down below. Thank you. Bye-bye.